Hello, Recony7, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we're continuing our France campaign. And we're continuing to beat up on anyone who wants to come our way. And the current opponents are America, Russia, and Austro Hungary. And we're kind of focused on Austro Hungary at the minute, having parked most of our fleet in the Mediterranean, uh, with an aim to maybe give them a bit of a thrashing and convince them to bow out of the war. But we do have some smaller fleets in the Caribbean. We do continue to try and pick off elements of the American fleet as well, just to keep the victory points ticking in the right direction. Meanwhile, our fleet is rebuilding with some light forces, but our main focus will be on some lovely super heavy battleships, which we are waiting to get off the uh, assembly line at the end of 1936. Um, and I think that's really going to be the, the last hurrah of this campaign, so when we get out and get to play with them for a stream. But that's uh, all ahead of us, so without any further ado, I'll hand you back over to Live Twitch Audio, where the first thing we have is a uh, light cruiser engagement. Okay. All right, we'll do a submarine pointless thing first. I would quite like you to sink me. Peace for the US. Now, we are winning. I want to see. I want to see what we get out of this. Oh my God, we, we sunk the battle cruiser with our random sub. It finally did something interesting. Not detected. That's cool. Haven't seen that before. These events seems to have gone absolutely nowhere. We've got a cruiser task there and a bit of a brawl here. Democracy. Beautiful that she is. Okay, we're going to take this one. I'm, I can't really be bothered with this one, to be perfectly honest. Veterans v cadets. I think we just sail in and sink them. All right, we're going to do this one first. And then we'll do a big fight. Uh, south, great. Alright, well, let's go in front of the, tra the transports. And then we'll uh, turn in. Whoop. And we're just going to make towards them. Good. I think we're going to rely on our veterans here to be superior with their guns. That's kind of it, to be honest. The screen, you're kind of on the wrong side, mate. And we they have a slightly longer range, but that's okay. Well, let's pop some smoke since we can't fire at them. Are they running? We might go faster then. Come on, little print. I believe in you. A lot of our pipers on the back, though. So. Oh, it's Oh, I caught the mute, though, at least. Okay. Combat has started the Atlanta. Presumably an Atlanta class, maybe? Well, that's obviously not necessarily how this works. That's a, that's a healthy amount of secondaries you got there. What's our hit chance? Only 11%. Oh, she's flooding already. We've obviously hit her with something. We do want to try and make, keep 
ourselves open so we're getting a full broadside here. And we're just firing with a forward gun. And although we're winning the duel, we win a lot better if we used all these turrets as well. Damage the main gun, that was good. Ooh. Splash there, nearby hit. Do have to watch out for torpedoes. We know the AI loves them. It is frustratingly good with them. Five kilometers away. Yeah. Yeah, now, now everyone's going. No our sign getting involved. Surely they're rear turrets from an angle here. There we go. What? Well, we just kept our own flipping torpedo, didn't we? Um, yeah, our destroyer just torpedoed us. I cannot believe they just did that. I can't believe they just did that. There's a lot of torpedoes flying around the place. Oh. You, sir, are in a great deal of trouble. I mean, it's happened to AI, so I shouldn't complain it happens to me occasionally, but still. Alright, let's see if we can get up here without... I mean, our dignity with our ships intact. See what they choose to do. Uh, smoke on, please. <clears throat> We're so handling and we can in control of this. It looks like they are, are just running away, which is good. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's see if we can take care of this destroyer. Maybe what are, you, what are those two? What are those fools doing? Oh my god, you hit by another torpedo. You don't have any torpedo left. Feel free to attack this guy. He's like right there. Right, let's see if we can set him on fire. Survive long enough to go next. Try and chop. Oh, great damage here from the Gabion. Might be able to burn him out actually. Max speed. Now, our danger here is that we get annihilated by the heavier light cruiser armament, which would make sense. That's kind of what's supposed to happen. Right, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Launch, launch, launch. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, surely, surely. Oh, she's turning. Not oh, quickly enough, she's not. How many was that? One, two, three torpedo hits. Surely that's her done. Surprisingly a little flooding. Lots of damage, though. Okay, and there she goes. She settles in the water. Oof. Engine's dead. Surely she's got under. Uh, 
Oh, see, she just survives us. We all limp home. Eh, that might be fair. Although, at least this was an offensive torpedo. Yeah, she's gone. Beautiful. See ya. Right, we'll let we'll let the Olic go. If he so chooses, we'll come back towards our uh, cru light cruiser if we can. Got a bit of gunnery, and yeah, he's gonna let us win. Excellent. I'll take that. Given how it started, that is a good outcome. Right, let's go for this big stromash with the democracy who's... Actually, before we do this, I was going to check whether you can get a history. No, I don't think you can. Shouldn't that be cool? Okay. Let's just absolutely battle this. So we're up against... We've got two heavy cruisers. They've got two heavy cruisers. We've got two lights to their one. But they have two battleships to their one. But ours is... A lot heavier. And the grizzled veterans after... Five years of war... Against everyone. So what are allies doing, Britain? You're supposed to be doing something. Right, so we've got battle line one, we've got battle line two of our light cruisers, and then light light cruisers are screwing about shit. This seems vaguely sensible. I'm gonna put everybody on to save. Maybe we won't torpedo ourselves. I'm gonna kick the speed up to 30 and I'm gonna bring you slightly down to uh, 26 knots. I'll slow you guys down as well. To the east. To the vaguely east we go. What beautiful formation keeping. Oh, shells coming in. Slow things down. Great stats from our veterans here. Thirty percent accuracy, fifty percent aiming, faster reloads, much better damage control. Okay, you guys keep going for your now. I'll have you cut around a slightly different way, and I'll have you guys cut around this side. I think. What I really want to find where the light cruisers are and the heavy cruiser and deal with them. I should I had. Yeah, I've got two lights on the screen. They've only got one light, that's fine. Okay. Democracy is now in action. Ooh. And Democracy lands her first blow. Now. Your turret range and all for Interesting. All forward facing. Beautiful. As it should be. Aggressive democracy. Alright, we'll keep our distance for a little bit until we head to the end indication. Lots and lots of misses. I like this. Misses Narset too. Are they leading the line with their battleship? Because if so, I will happily hurl a bunch of torpedoes at you. Just to see what we get away with. Oh no! Democracy's been hit quite badly. We've been hit by 16 shell. Oh jeez. Let's turn a little bit. And when we think we're both on a reasonable angle, I'm going to see if we can get launched at the same time. I think I'm going to have you guys 
just come off the screen and go steady as she goes. Admi Cecil is in charge, that's fine. Let's get you involved. Yeah, let's go on to normal. You have launched, you have not. Please launch. Come on, that looks pretty good to me. What are you waiting for, Cayman? Should not know principles of two to warfare, and you want to get as many fish in the water at the same time. Right, you need to count your speed, you're being left behind here. Oh, oh, she didn't. Mm, no, she didn't give me a little bit of anything. Hmm. You still haven't launched. That's interesting. The minute I'm dueling heavy cruisers versus battleships. Not ordinarily. The way you want things. Alright, let's turn around. Right, I'm gonna watch out for torpedoes, as ever. You're starting to head towards battleships, this is fine. You are seemingly chasing down the, the, the grass. There's some torpedoes coming in there, which look, Christ, I don't know, like they're going to hit me, to be perfectly honest. Can I get inside them? Or outside them, or inside them, or somewhere. This looks, we might miss them. Can we kill the speed? Ooh, breathe in. You head around this way. I need to keep yourself heading this way because it's a, a dangerous position with a Temes lurking. Head over here. You guys are heading back this direction, that's a okay. Graz has gone under, beautiful. Two heavy cruisers to come back this side of this light cruiser. We should be able to finish her off as we skip past. You guys still have your torpedoes. And looky loo, Rodetsky. Eat what? Oh, someone launched torpedoes. You're sailing with them. Interesting. I'm assuming the Temez is about to come to... Oh, no, oh, don't crash. You crashed. Okay. Can we, can we maybe... Can we maybe not? You should be seeing this. You have your torpedoes. You're on. You are on save. I'd say now is a good time to not be on save. Three and a half kilometers from a battleship seems like a pretty good range for launching a torpedo. Although you seem to disagree with me. Everything should be aimed at the battleship. There you go. And now you launch. Is your torpedoes aimed at him for some reason? Uh, I can do that to get your underwater tubes aimed at him, in case we can get an opportunity to go past. I'm not convinced by that shot, but these torpedoes do seem really slow as you're going faster than they are. 
Rodetsky is burning. Right, what's happening with our absolute cluster over here? David Temes is under. And you don't look like you're in the worst condition, to be perfectly honest, so... I mean, kudos for that. Most of seal is doing okay. Although Rodetsky, for all her fire, seems kind of fine with life. MS goes under, beautiful. Need to do some damage to this thing. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage to it, to be fair. But you know what I mean, more damage. A couple of these big shells, I think, would be nice. Nice, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That looked like a junky bit of damage. We have launch torpedoes. Our torpedoes seem to have done hee haw. Despite the close range. You guys can head over here, okay. Everything seems to be going in our general direction. Well, you launched yours of a heavy cruiser. Okay. Can't say it's our primary concern right now. Admiral Cecile may be going under soon. Spear agents going. Is it really 29? No, it's 27. That's not too bad. Is it worth it? No, nah, not at all. Do I join and not come out? Since you're in this big direction. Are you really struggling to turn because of him? You're not facing the right way. Or her, I should say. Always get that mixed up. Right, we're going to put you guys on to save. We're going to drive by of the Rodetsky, see if we can cause some mischief from short range. Oh, we did have my torpedo. Take it back. I apologize uh, to Shala. Apparently did a good job. Oh, come. Turn, man. Turn. Yeah, our light cruisers are just getting wrecked, but it's not the worst. The big Nactus bullet sponge for a little bit. Let's get closer with some of our other assets. I'll take that as a win. Now you do have an underwater torpedo. And it would be swell. I think it's... Uh... Okay. You know, come this way. Turn, 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 turn. No, you're not turning. Damage rudder? Perhaps. Right, try and turn this way. It would be swell if you could get it off. I'm not sure you can turn quickly enough. No! Well, there she was. That was unexpected. Okay. Would you want you, um, I mean, you're pretty much dead, but if you can. I don't know why you want to path that way. You know what? You do you.
Okay, democracy heading in this direction. How are we doing? You have launched. Right, and we're at two kilometers away this time. Okay, this looks like it might be uh, more rewarding. Although it's a surprising turn she can put on the water there. But no, no. One. Oh, no, dud. Just one hit. No, two hits. One damage, one dud. Okay. Hopefully you will also be able to get a nice salvo up and do a bit more damage. And bring this party down to a single ship. Nice. Oh, she's gone. Shoot fire. Beautiful. Okay. It's us and the Glorak right now. Dueling at 2.6 kilometers, classic battleship engagement ranges. I don't think she's going to last particularly long. Coming is unscathed. We are, we are losing a light cruiser. That's not a bad exchange for two lights, a heavy. Sorry, one light, two heavies, and two battleships. See? I wonder if she'll burn out as well. Apparently, hasn't taken that much damage yet. Which is surprising. Oh, and there she goes. Okay. But then burning ships out is the way. So there you go. Absolute victory. Thank you very much. Uh, sure, we'll go to peace for you. Can't give me anything interesting, so I'll take whatever money you've got. We'll go from there. And war continues. And oh, we got peace between us and America. What do we get? 1.2. What do we need for Pamela? One. Oh, we could take Alaska. <laughs> or the Eastern Aleutians. Eastern Aleutians. Is that all the islands just south of Alaska? Uh, yes, yeah, let's take Alaska. <laughs> right, something else failed. Hell strength thing. All right, show me the map. Yeah, there's Aleutians there. Dutch Harbour. Sweet, we, <laughs> we have Alaska. French Alaska, as it should be. I really wanted Panama, actually, but... Right, our wars have reduced. Just the war with Russia and austria -Hungary. Now, we can't take anything from austria -Hungary. We have nothing worth taking. We could, however, if we beat up Finland a lot, uh, Russia a lot, take some land. Although it was like half a million last time, so we might need to build up a healthy uh, war score. Which we're not really there yet. But also, more importantly, let's get to the end of the year. So our super heavies, heavies come out. Actually, we probably won't get to see them in this stream, but next time we'll be good to go. Yes, we absolutely need to build more ships. Diesel electric auxiliaries? 
Do I want to build them now? All right, fine, 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 fine. Let us design a new light cruiser. Uh, a large cruiser? Heavy cruiser? No. Modern light cruiser, that's what we want. Looking lovely. Right, it's the main tower on it. Uh, I mean, uh, we'll go fairly... Well, maybe in the middle of our road. You at the front? We're probably going to want to have one turret in front of you. Actually, let's slap that on first. Armament for our light cruisers, I think six. So we'll stick with six inches. Uh, we can get into the world of triples now, though. I think it would be nice. Main tower for, for modern main tower two. We'll put you right there. We'll grab another six inch gun, triple barrel, put you on top. You'll love to see it. We're going to want one at the rear. Then we're going to want secondary tower. Um, let's get, oh, you're chunky. Let's do, yeah, something like this it seems acceptable. We're going to grab another triple six inch turret and put it on the back. And I'm very, very happy with that as a light cruiser design. Things we're going to need are some thick funnels. Oh, we can put them up here. That pleases me. No, we can't. But two, two we can. You one? Is that still pretty garbage? Any chance to get two of these bad boys on? Nope. One of you, and I guess we're going to put another one in the middle here. Seems like a lot of funnels. What speed we got? Eh, 36. That's respectable. Even that. Cheesy. Crazy. I really need four funnels? I'm going to improve my funnelage. Uh, funnel capacity, yes. By better boilers. Force boilers? Force boilers would be phenomenal. More engine vibrations, or we could go balanced. It's 97. What about this? 58 mm, feels low. If we did force, we get away with this. So we could eat the 70, which is gonna hurt us more for accuracy from vibrations and things. Mm -mm -mm. No, I'm gonna keep it. I like it. Uh, let's move up to... Mm, I don't want too much complexity on my smaller ships. I can't even see what the flaws are here. Too much text. Oh, I don't want seven point five ship flaws. I don't want ship flaws. These are all five percent. Mobility, survivability, engine reliability, lower horsepower, and geared steam, double geared steam. Yeah, that'll do. He says. Not much going on. Um, these are more complex. I don't want ship flaws. Let's go for just all two. You give me ship flaws. Let's go for it. good, but no ship flaws. I think it's, it's the general feeling I'm getting for most of these. These are all a little bit of ship flaws. Unless you go just hydraulic. Okay. We'll take some better armor. We we'll go double bottle. Let's go double bottle. Stand up because it's fine. I don't like why well, I always cramp quarters. What do you have against my my crew? Can we make that around thirty seven? Hmm, or around thirty six? Or a not round anything? I don't know. That's what we're settled on. Anti flood. We want anti flood. Flood two. Uh, 
Flash fires again, not the biggest concern, but we would like some defense. We'll get better TNT. Don't mind paying a little bit more for my ammo. We'll go for electro-hydraulic. I'm probably saying about 15% um, ship flaws. Yeah. Go oh, semi. Semi-auto? No, let's go for the auto. Need to lower low percentages. We'll not talk about it. We would like a range fighter. Uh, we don't need sonar hydro. I would like a rangefinder and I would like a radio. A radar even. So I kind of feel like we'll easily move my kind of scouting-esque ships with the exception of not for uh, submarines. Uh, but you're not sure, let's lay some mines with these guys. That's not, not a problem. Uh, anything I'm missing? No, this all seems fine. We've got a little bit of weight remaining, but generally that seems good. Tell you what I'm missing. Secondary guns and torpedoes. I could do the double double floor again, same as our destroyers. Um, and then let's get to some secondaries. Yeah, three inch secondaries, just two barrels seems fine. How many random places can I plop you down? Well, that firing arc is terrible. There's really nothing up here. There's going to be casemates for that. Nope. Okay, two inches can go up here. That's fine. Let's get... Uh, just double check. I can't put these anywhere. Oh, wow. The angles on these are atrocious. Oh, these are good. Let's see that. Sorry, uh, two barrels? It is. Uh, well, since I don't have many of them, how about you guys get to? We'll put a triple barrel three inch there. And we're going to go back with just dual barrel. I just go triple barrel three inch. Triple barrel, all the barrels. Okay, this seems appealing. Right, I'm gonna leave those there for where they are for torpedoes. And yeah, I'll do that as well. Cool. Some guns have poor sector of fire. Do they? These all seem okay. And these are not great. I'll live with it, thank you very much. Okay, slightly bigger torpedoes, standard prop size is fine. Standard ammo torps, I think is also okay. Okay, I think that seems okay. I think we're gonna call this enough. Do I want, well, 80%, that's okay. Everything apparently is okay. We're a little bit heavy at the front. There's not much we can do about that. Kind of shuffled everything. We've placed everything pretty perfectly, so that's probably going to affect us a little bit with our wonkiness, but c'est la vie. You don't like it, apparently, when I'm over 80% of the weight. Can we go up to, say, 3-inch belt? And 2-inch deck. We can, quite easily. We have an inch and a half for our other belty bits and an inch for our deck. Cool. Turret armor. That's max top. The top needs to be more than that. Okay, that seems fine. Alright. Let us call that. Our, I don't like that name of that class. Means I've got to name it myself. Let's call you the uh, 
I don't know. Sit down, class. Here you go. You will... Beautiful. Let us lay down several of these. Excellent. Okay, we still got two wars going on. Small wars. Oh, I will take a piece with you. You don't want it. Our new destroyers. Uh, finished? Where are they? Was that what's happening now? Peace. Lovely. Just give some money. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, we're slowly getting towards uh, yeah, peace and happiness. Right. Where are... If we sort by type. Um, you got a class near somewhere? Yes. Here we go. Uh, they're all... I know all commissioning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I only built eight destroyers. No, I thought I'd... There's another two there. There's another two there. Okay, eight, nine, ten, twelve. That's right. I remember that. Twelve. Okay. You could probably do with another twelve, to be perfectly honest. I might just go and lay those down. Because uh, why not? Let's not worry too much about it. Let's build me on more of these, please. Good. Up to 30 destroyers. That's a healthy number. Heavy cruisers are okay, although they're getting aged. As are my battle cruisers, I'm in battleships. I can't do much about that. Democracy in the Versingatorix. But we're about to get two lovely, shiny new ones. Which we're not going to get to play with because we are running out of time. I'm interested if I can actually get to uh, them existing. Absolutely. Fleet. Two months. All right, we'll see if we can get through two months without any more fighting. So they're actually out and about. Although probably three months because it'll have to be one month of commissioning. Oh no! Well, they're not on the building list anymore. Commissioning four months. Yeah, I could change the fences. Did I pump the heck up? I did not. Can I afford to? Uh, not really. Let's just keep that 75. As we head into 1936. 1937, sorry. I know my years. And then we can go and grab ourselves a fleet and go find ourselves some Russians. Seems like a fun thing to do. Ah, we didn't escape it. We've got that on the convoy. I think we're not quite commissioned. Okay. What? We're not at war with them. 
<laughs> so some of the rougher edges of the game on show here uh yeah a bit of a scratching head moment as we were being thrown into battle with someone we are not at war with and i did try and save and reload the game uh but it didn't help and it's still offering us that engagement but i've parked that in very much into a problem for next time as this is where we ended the stream so when we come back in the next one uh we are going to have to have this uh, engagement and i'm interested to see what effect that actually has on world politics and whether it matters or it's just going to be down as a bit of a bug but more importantly when we come back next time we will get to play with our super heavy battleships which i'm very much looking forward to and i think that's going to be the final hurrah of this series as well so hope you do join us for that as ever i'll see you then cheerio